Piano Bass Guitars and welcome to your second guided music practice video. In today's lesson, we are going to be reviewing and practicing our first seven notes and practicing quavers and just making sure that we can read and play all of our notes with great ease. We are also going to be making sure that we know what a key signature is and how to count our quavers. You will be successful when you can correctly count and play size 50 and 52 and apply that counting to the rest of page 14. Let's get started. Exercise 49, let's do it in chunks, saying the notes and doing the fingers. Pause now if you need extra time to work out all of the notes. Now look at the first two bars, say the notes and do the positions. Ready? B flat, D, F, G, D, C, D, E flat, rest. Pause and do that again. Now play it with me from the B flat and and play that three times, making sure that you're looking at the notes and not at your fingers over here. Now look at the next two bars. Pause and see if you can work out the notes and fingers. Now let's check. We have A, which is no fingers on this string, our A string. So we have A, C, then E, E, C, B flat, C, D, rest. Now let's see if we can play that. Pause if you need some extra practice first. And play. A, C, E, E, C, B flat, C, D, rest. Pause and practice that three times. Now see if you can join the first four bars together at the start without me. Pause here. Now play them with me. Pause and practice that three times on your own, making sure that you're getting the fingers nice and easily and you know exactly what notes you're playing. Now look at the next four bars. Say the notes and do the positions. And F, D, B, D, D, E flat, F, G, rest. F, E flat, D, D, C, B flat to rest. Pause and practice that as much as you need to until you can get around there nice and easily. Now let's play it together. Now remember, you don't want to pluck too hard on this hand. Just walk your fingers nice and easily on the bass. Let's do it again. The last four bars. And... Pause and practice that on your own. Now let's do the whole song position, saying the notes the whole way through from the beginning. Ready and B flat, D, F, D, D, C, D, E flat, rest. A, C, E, E, A, B flat, C, D, rest. F, D, B flat, D, D, E flat, F, G, F, E flat, D, D, C, B flat, two, three, four. Now let's see if we can play it. Ready and. G, rest. F, 
Some mistakes in there so we're gonna go back and fix the things that I keep doing wrong so that's just the last two bars say the notes and do the fingers with me F E flat D D C B flat and play it D, oh, F. identified what I did wrong and then I practiced a few times until I made sure I got it right every time. So if you're finding any of the bars tricky, make sure you slow it down, get everything right so you can get it right every single time. Do it three more times on your own from the beginning the whole way through, pausing now. Now let's all turn the page and look at exercise 50. See if you can say the counting for exercise 50 with Tars and Titis from the beginning. Ready? Three, four, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ah, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ah. Now that's the counting with the tas and titis. If we were counting it with the numbers, it would go like this: one, two, and three, four. Because the first beat is a tar, and beat two has TTs on it, so it's two and. Can you say that, please? One, two, and. Now say the whole bar. One, two, and three, four. Now say the whole song with counting like that. Ready? Three, four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Four, one, two, and three. E. Now we didn't say four when we had a two count note, but we said four in our head. Make sure you do that. Pause now and do the counting all the way through again for exercise 50. Now look at exercise 51. Do you notice anything about 50 and 51? How about the rhythm? Did you notice that they're the same? So the counting for Skip It Lou is one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, rest, which is pretty much exactly the same as exercise 50. Let's say the counting and do the fingers, starting on D. Ready? One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, rest. See if you can do that again. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, rest. Now see if you can play it while doing the counting. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, rest. Now pause and do that on your own. Look at the next two bars. What would the counting be? Pause it now and say the counting. Now check it with me. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Rest. That's right, the counting is exactly the same as the first two bars. Say the counting and do the fingers, starting on C. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three. Rest. So it's C, 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 A, A. C, 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 E, and play it with me. One, two, and three, four, and then one, two, and three, rest. Do it again. One, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, rest. Pause now and see if you can do the whole song on your own without me. Remember to count and to check what all of the notes are. Now that you've done that, look at the start of exercise 51. Can you see how there are two flats before the start of the music? That's our key signature. 
and it's basically just telling us to play B flats and E flats, even though they're not in front of the note. We've been doing this for a while now, playing the notes that we already know on our page with or without key signatures, which is really good. But now we need to know what a key signature is. Can you please say key signature? And can you point to it? What does our key signature have in it? B flat and E flat. Good. So we know what B flat is and we know what E flat is. Really easy. Let's play all of Skip at Lou, keeping in mind our key signature, counting, and not looking at our fingers too much. From the D. Ready and D. Now you can tell I didn't practice those last two bars. So let's do the whole thing one more time, making sure that we're really concentrating and playing it perfectly. Three, four, Pause and practice that at least three more times on your own. Now look at exercise 52 and 53. See if you can do the same thing that we did for 50 and 51, 52 and 53 on your own. Once you've done those two and you feel like you were successful, keep going and see how far you can get in the book. How did you go in today's lesson? Were you able to play your first seven notes and identify them and play them correctly? Were you able to understand what a key signature is? Explain it out loud now. What key signature does exercise 51 have? What are quavers? Do you remember? They're the same as TTs or eighth notes. What do they look like? Can you point to some? Let me know if I went too fast in this video. Keep up with your work and happy practicing.